Okay, so sambung balik. Okay, nampak ke slide ni? Ya, ya. Nampak. Nampak. Dah eh, dah nampak eh. Okay, so slowly lah eh. So first we do taking off for concrete. Right, so if you look at the time sink, Uh, it put the value of 6. Okay. So the reason is because if you look back at the question, uh, you will have 6 number of beam. So that's why at the time saying you put the value of 6. And then for the length, if we look at this diagram, provided the length is 2.6 meter. But if you notice, 2.6 meter basically including half column, okay? Including this half column and another half column. So now we are calculating for the beam, so we only need to have this length only. So meaning that 2.6, you need to minus with half column and another half column. So provided here, the full column, it will be 125. So half column will be 125 divided by 2. So back to the solution, length 2.6, you need to minus with two half column. So for half column is 0 0.125 divided by two, and then you multiply with two because you have two half column. Okay. So this value you put inside of your dimension. 2.475 is the length of the beam only without considering the half column, two half column. And then for this value, we are going to look at the question. So it is provided at the cross section area whereby the depth is 375 and the breadth is 125. So you put this value inside of your dimension. Okay, and you will get the quantity. So how to get the quantity? Basically, you need to multiply 6 with 2.475, multiply with 0 0.125, and multiply with 0 0.375. So here, the value is wrong it's not 0 0.166 0 so if you calculate 0 0.7 so the value is 0 0.7 okay so here also you please correct the slide it will be 0 0.7 meter cube of concrete Okay, uh, for concrete, is everybody okay for concrete? So far, so good. So far, so good, eh? Yeah. For reinforcement. Okay, so first we are going to calculate for the top reinforcement. Okay, the top reinforcement. So if you look at the question, the top reinforcement is made from 2R12. Okay, it's made from 2R12. So for the time sink, 
it will be six slash two. Why? Because here in the question, you have six unit of beam and then for each beam, for the top reinforcement, there will be two number of reinforcement. So that's why the time sink will be set six slash two. All right, so if you look at the solution here, the time sink is six slash two. And then for the length, you need to calculate the length of one reinforcement for the top. So here, 2.6 is based on the dimension provided in the diagram. And then you need to plus with two half column. Okay, and then you need to minus with two cover. So you will get 2.675. All right, so why you need to Okay, why you need to add with two half column because 2.6 here you need to add with half column half column and then if you look your reinforcement here, it will be this length, meaning that 2.6 plus two half column, and then you need to minus with cover. Okay, so you have to cover here and also here, All right? So after you get the, the value, you need to add with to bend here. Okay, so for one bend, it will be 5D. So here you have two bend for one reinforcement. So one, two, so two times 5D. Okay, so here length, plus to half column, minus with to cover, and then you need to plus with to bend. Okay, so two times five, so diameter of your steel is 12 mm. So the total length for one reinforcement is 2.795. So you round up, it will become 2.8. If you don't want to round up, it's okay to put 2.795 here, no problem. And, and then to get the quantity, you just multiply six times two times with 2.8, so you will get 33. Okay, so two. You will get 33.6 meter of are 12. Sir. Sir, ada orang ada request nak join masuk kelas. Ya. Yeah. Ada nak masuk kelas lagi ah? Okey, sekejap. Orang ini. Uh, okay, clear lah setakat ni? Yeah, yes, okay. Yeah. Untuk yeah. top reinforcement, okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, so we continue with uh, bottom reinforcement. Siapa <coughs> tu? <coughs> Tapi siapa tu? Siapa jaga anak tu? Siapa jaga anak tu? Bila air kecil ke? 
Dia lain Dia nak pula Dia upah eh Okay so we continue with reinforcement for the bottom. Can you see the slide here? Yes. Nampak ke slide semua? Nampak eh? Okay. Nampak. Nampak. So basically the same step. The time sink is 6 times 2 because you have 6 number of column and then if you look at the bottom Reinforcement, it also made it from 2R12. So that's why the time sim will be 6 slash 2 because 6, six number of beam and then you have 2 number of reinforcement for each beam. Okay, so here if you can see the time sink is 6 slash 2 and then for the dimension you need to calculate. So length is 2.6 plus half column is the same with this one. Okay. And then you need to minus with two cover, the same step with the top reinforcement. So you will get 2.675, same. And then also you need to plus with two band. So here it will be different with the top because they're different, it will be in mm. And then it will be slightly different from the top, right? So when you get this value, you put inside of the dimension and you just multiply six times 2 times with 2.86 you will get 34.32 meter of 18. Any okay. question for bottom reinforcement and also top reinforcement? No sir, it's okay. Yeah, clear. Okay, clear again. Tak tak faham. Tak faham, tak faham, tak faham. Ah, Kak Runisa, Kak Runisa. Tak faham yang mana eh? Okey, boleh proceed. Kak yang tak faham, Kak yang tak faham boleh tanya sekarang. Okay, okay, boleh, boleh. Okay, so next we yeah. proceed to the stir up. Right, so stir up is basically this one, the grey colour of the reinforcement. Right, just now we do for the top reinforcement, the yellow colour at the top and also the yellow colour at the bottom. Now we are going to do for the stir up, the grey colour of reinforcement. So please notice that for one stirrup, it will have two number of anchorages and you need to remember the length of one anchorage is 12D. So if it has two anchorage, meaning that it will be 24D for one stirrup, okay? Right, so if you look at the stirrup here, First, we are going to measure the length of one stirrup. Okay, so the length is 0 0.375. So where do you get this value? 0 0.375 is basically based on your cross-section here. Okay, 3.75. And if you look here, it will have the cover. Okay, on top and bottom, it will have the cover so it will will have two cover so for one cover stated here is 25 mm so if two cover it will be 50 mm so for 
the length of this side will be 375 minus 50. Okay. Right, so 0 0.375 minus 2 cover, it will be 0 0.325. And then another one is 0 0.125 is from this one, right? Okay, one, two, five is this value. So we are going to measure the length here. So if you look here, there will be a cover here. One at the left, one at the right. So meaning that one, two, five minus with 50 mm. Okay, because for one cover, it is 25 mm. Okay, so it will be 0 0.075 and then you plus 0 0.325 plus 0 0.075 is 0 0.4. Basically, 0 0.4 is the length here. Here plus here. Okay, this side plus this side, and then you need to multiply by two. Okay, because you are going to know the value for the all four sided. So once you multiply with two, you will get this side and this side. Okay. So here, 0 0.04. Zero point zero four is this side plus this side, and then you multiply by two, you will get the full four sided. Okay, so it will be zero point eight, and then you need to bear in mind for stir up, it will have two anchorage. Okay, so for one anchorage, it will be twelve d because we use R. Okay, the mild steel. And then because we have two anchorage, it will be 24D. So when you total up 0 0.8, the four-sided, and then you plus with the, the four-sided is 0 0.8, and then you plus with anchorage, you will get 0 0.944. Okay, so that is the length for one stirrup. Then you need to determine number of stirrup. So if you look here, there are many number of stirrup here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, but here in the question, it not state the number of stirrup. It just give R6 and then it give the spacing. Okay, so you know that the distance between each of the stirrup is 150 mm. So you need to calculate to know the number of stirrup that exists in the beam. So first here, the length 2.6 is including half column. So you just want to calculate for the beam, meaning that 2.6 meter, you need to minus with half column here and also minus with half column here. So meaning that you will get the length of only of your beam. So it will be 2.475. So the formula, the, you will get the length is 2.475 here. Okay, and then the formula to determine number of stirrup, you need to memorize this one. This is the formula that will not be in your final exam. And you need to memorize by your own. In any test also, the formula will not be provided. So please memorize number of stirrup equal to length of the beam divide by the spacing and you need to plus one 
Okay, the formula is length. So length here is 2.475, the length of the beam. Divide by the spacing provided in the question just now, it is 150 mm. And then you need to plus one. Don't forget to plus one. So you will get 17.5, but it is illogical to have 17 and half of the stirrup. So you need to round up. Okay, so when you round up, it will be 18. So the 18 here, you put in your time sink. Six is because you have six number of beam and 0 0.944 is the length of one stirrup. So after you get the time sink and dimension, you just multiply six, multiply with 18, multiply with 0 0.944. So you will get 101.95, okay? So a bit mistake here. So you should get 101 and 95. Steer up, 6 mm diameter, MS is mild steel, okay? MS is mild steel. The symbol you can use, R. Okay, so that's all for steer up. Any question? So it's quite difficult. Any question so far for steer up? Hello, yes, any question for steer up? Ada soalan boleh? Suarakan. Buka mikrofon lah. Hello. Dia tengah attack dulu. Dia tanya 24D tu kan. Kenapa uh, D tu D tu 0.006 sir okay all right so that one is referring to the diameter of the anchorage so we look at the diagram here from the question so it's stated here the stirrup is made from r6 right so meaning that the diameter of the stirrup is 6 mm. So that's why D is equal to 0 0.006. Okay? Okay, mantap, sir. Okay, any other question? Ada soalan lain? Tak ada. Tak ada? But can I proceed? Boleh, boleh, boleh. Boleh, sir. Boleh. Okay, so the last boleh, one. Boleh, boleh. So we have cover on concrete, the simplest one. And then we have calculate for reinforcement, the toughest one. And the last one is for the formwork. Okay, so not the simplest, not the toughest at the middle. So for the formwork, we can divide into three sides. So first here, we have outer side, and then we will have inner side, and the last one is soft fit. Okay? Uh, outer side, uh, if we look at the diagram, Right, so let's say we take this beam. So for outer side is nine 
this one, this side. Okay, so the outer side is this side. And then at the inner, it will also have the inner side. And soffit is basically at the bottom of the beam. So three sides of the formwork. Outer, inner at the inner side, and soffit at the bottom of the beam. Okay, so first we take a look for the outer side. Right, so for outer side, your formwork will be here, okay? So we take the dimension here, 2.6, and then you can add with two half column, okay? 2.6, you can add with two half column because for the outer, if you include the column, there will be no problem because there will be no beam or column that will block the outer side of the formwork. Right? And then you will get the, the length of beam and the column. So you just multiply with the depth here. So the depth here is referred to this one, 375. So you multiply, you will get the area of the outer side of the formwork. Right, so if you look at the solution, 2.6 plus 2 half column is 2.7 to 5. So you put inside of your dimension, the time sink will be 6 because you have 6 beam. And then this is the depth. 0 0.375 so you will get 3.16 3.131 meter squared of sawn timber so that is for the outer side okay next we look at the inner side of the formwork so first you take the length you must minus half column okay the reason is for the inner side, the inner side formwork will be blocked by the other beam or by the column. So that's why you need to minus with half column. So the length here is only the length of your beam. Okay. And the time seam is the same. Six because you have six number of beam. And you need to multiply with the depth of your beam, 0 0.375. So it will be 5.569 meter squared of sawn timber and lastly for the soffit so the same thing 2.6 you need to minus with two half column because the column or the beam will block the soffit side of the formwork okay so for example here outer will be no problem. There will be no column or beam that will block the outer side of the formwork. But for soffit, if you look here, it cannot go through the column because there will be a column here. So soffit, you must minus with two half column here, okay? Because it will block by the column. The same thing for the inner, you need to minus with half column because the other beam will block the inner side of the formwork. All right, so 2.6 and then you need to minus with two half column, okay? And then you need to multiply with the press, 135. Okay, so remember, soffit is located under the beam or at the bottom of the beam, so you must multiply with the breath. For 
outer and inner it is located at the side of the beam so you need to multiply with the depth all right okay so for sophie the time sink is six and then length is 2.4 the breadth is 0 0.125, so you will get the total number is 1.856 meters squared meet, square meter of sun timber. So now you have complete with your taking off. So then you can proceed with BQ. So for BQ, you just take back the value from your taking off. For example, concrete here. So the quantity when you calculate your from your taking off it is 0 0.7. Okay, so the unit will be cubic meter because concrete we measure the volume. And then for reinforcement, if we look at the rules, it must be the bigger diameter first. Okay. Right here, the order. So you can read here for reinforcement. The largest diameter must be mentioned first and then followed by the smaller diameter of reinforcement. So that's why in the BQ, So in BQ, we arrange like this. First, R18 because it's the largest reinforcement, followed by R12, and then the last one is R6, the smallest. Okay, so this is the rules that you need to follow when you prepare your BQ. And then you just take from your taking off, R18, 68, R12 is 29.82 and R6 is 22.52 kilogram. Okay, so in order for you to know the kilogram, this is the length that you calculate in your taking off just now. Okay, this one also the length, this one also the length. So you need to use the formula of volume for the cylinder so for cylinder in order to find the volume it is pi pi r squared multiply with the length right so this one is pi 3.14 this one is r so r18 18 refer to diameter so your radius will be 9 okay 12 if the diameter, the radius will be 6. 6 is diameter, the radius will be 3. Okay, so pi, d squared, and then you multiply with the length, you will get the volume. Okay, so in order for you to get the mass in the unit of kg, you need to multiply with the density of the steel, which is 7,850 kilogram per meter cube. So this one you need to memorize. 7850 is the density of steel. Okay. So please memorize density of steel is 7850 kilogram per meter cube. Okay, so this one density of steel bar assume 7850 kilogram per meter cube. So from the length here, from your taking off, you can convert into kilogram. And the last one for the sun timber, you just use the same size. So it will be, you total out, it will be 13.556 square meter of sun timber. So the rate, you can get from supplier or in final exam, the rate will be given in the question. And when you multiply the quantity and the rate, you will get the RM and then you can determine the total cost for the project. 
So that's all for this question. So any any question? Tu kalau yang pi tu pakai tiga point satu empat tu pakai pi saja kat calculator. Ya nak pakai pi calculator boleh, nak pakai tiga point satu empat boleh, tak ada masalah. Dua-dua boleh. Ya nak pakai pi dalam calculator pun boleh, tak ada masalah. Okey, lagi soalan lain? Okey, saya faham. <laughs> Suara jelas ke setakat ni? Jelas ke dah boleh lah. Sangkut lah ya. Sangkut sikit tapi okey je. Mana lagi best? Online kelas ke kelas biasa? Kelas biasa. Kelas biasa. Kelas biasa. Kelas biasa. Kelas biasa. Kelas biasa. Nak pergi kelas? Saya ni kelas online semua. Saya ni kelas semua online eh. Tak ada kelas biasa. Kelas biasa saya depan. Anak saya depan. <laughs> saya depan dah dalam Tahu office. Tak apa boleh eh. Alay. Amin insyaAllah. Work from home lah, saya depan. Okay, so if no question, we proceed to the next example. Okay, so please read first before we do this example. Sir, mana soalan ni Sir? Eh, tak ada slide eh? Tak ada. <laughs> ah, what the? Alright, so the slide you can get from Island, I use the same slide for online class. Okay, so next time just have your own slide on the online, on Island. Apa lah Imran tak print slide? Aduh Dekat college lah aduh Mana lah orang tahu nak extend PKP Kedai putus tak tutup semua kan? Aduh Aku rasa Kofi ok lah dekat college Okay. Yang saya highlight tu semua nampak ke? Ke sangkut yang highlight tu? Nampak. Nampak lah. Okay.
Okey, saya proceed boleh? Boleh. 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 Right, so we read the question first. It said based on drawing as shown in figure 543, calculate the amount of homework. So you only need to calculate homework only and prepare taking off sheet and bill of quantities for the beam. The column size is 200 times 200 and the sawn timber is 38 mm thickness. Right, so here it has, we have all together four beams, okay. So here it indicate the beam A12. So this one referring to this beam, okay. So the length is 4,000 mm. And this one is beam A, sorry, beam 1 AB. Okay, so this beam is referred to this one. The length is 4,500 mm. And this one is the cross section of every beam. So the breadth is 200 and the uh, depth is 350. Okay, so let's take a look on the solution. Okay, first, we calculate for the outer side. Okay, so length 4.5 and we can add two half column because it is outer side. So the outer side will not be blocked by other beam or by the column. So we can include the uh, column, right? So 4.5 plus with 0 0.2. So the length is 4.7. You put inside of your dimension. So the time sink is 2. Because we have 2 beam for that one. Okay, so we have one and two. So these two is the same size. We can do it together. So that's why for the time saying it is two because we have two beam that's similar here. Right, so 4.5 is, we need to plus with half column and half column because it will not be blocked by other beam and column. And then for the outer side, we need to take this depth. Okay, so multiply with 350. Right, so here we multiply with three, 0 0.35. So when you multiply 2, multiply with 4.7, multiply with 0 0.35, you will get 3.29 meters squared of sun timber. Right, so next we proceed to the inner side. Right, so remember, for inner side and soft fit, we need to minus with two half column. Okay, why? Because for outer, there will be no block of other beam. You can include the column, but for the inner, it will be blocked by other beam. Okay, so you see the red color. You cannot proceed to the end because it is blocked by this beam. Okay, so that's why 4.5 you need to minus with half column and minus with half column. Right, so for inner side, the length is only this one. And then the same thing, you need to multiply with that because inner is located at the side. So you need to multiply with that. It is 350 mm. Okay, so 4.3 because you minus with two half column and then you multiply with 0 0.35. 
the time sink will be two because you have two column, the same thing. And then when you multiply, you will get 3.01 meter squared of sawn timber. And the last one is for the soffit. Okay. For soffit. So basically the length is the same. You can take from your inner calculation. You just put at this dimension. The time sink is two. And then for the another dimension, you need to take the brush, all right? So why for the soffit, you need to minus with two half column because this is your beam. Your soffit is located under of your beam, at the bottom of your beam. So it will be blocked by the column here. So that's why 4.5, you need to minus with, sorry, I refer to the wrong figure. Right, so Sophie is located under of your beam. So that's why 4.5 here, you need to minus with half column and half column because your Sophie will be blocked by this column okay and then you need to multiply with the breath because soffit is located under of your beam so you need to multiply with breath here 200 mm right so if you look 4.3 multiply with 0 0.2 and the time sink will be 2 and then you will get 1.72 meters squared for the sun timber for the soffit okay so the next one is for the another beam so this one is for beam a12 and beam b12 Okay, so for this time, we are going to do for this beam and this beam. So the same thing, you will have outer, inner, and soffit. So for the length of outer, basically, you can include another two half column here. So meaning that the 4,000 here, you can add with half column and half column here because there will be no other beam or no column that will block the outer side of the formwork, right? And then the time sink will be two because you have two similar beam here, okay? And then it must be multiplied with that because outer is located at the side of the beam. So you need to multiply with Right, so if you look at the solution, length for you plus with two half column, you get 4.2. And then time sink is two because you have two similar col similar beam and multiply with the depth, 0 0.35. So total, you will get 2.94 meters squared. Okay, so the area for the outer side is 2.94 meters squared. Okay, next, for the inner side, so remember, for inner side, the dimension here, you need to minus with two half column because the inner side will be blocked by the other beam or by the other column. Right, so if we look here, The inner will be located at the inner side. You can see the red ink here. So you cannot include the other half column because it will be blocked by the beam, the other beam, okay? So how to get a dimension? 4,000, you need to minus with half column here and minus with another half column here, okay? 
So you only get this length only. And then because it's located at the side, you need to multiply with the depth of the beam, 350. So here you can see the time sink is two because you have two similar beam. Okay, and then the length will be 3.8 because you need to minus with two half column. And then you multiply with the depth of the beam. So total you get 2.66 meters squared of the beam. And the, for the last one, so fit. Okay, so similar. Time sink will be two because you have two beam. And then the depth, sorry, the line you can use the same with the inner 3.8. So the reason is because for soffit, soffit will be located under of your beam. So it will be, be blocked by the column here. So that's why the dimension 4000, you need to minus with half column and half column. Okay. And then because it is located under the beam, you need to multiply with the breadth of the beam, 200 mm. So 2 times 3.8 times 0 0.2, you will get 1.52 meters squared of some timber for the soffit. So when you sum up, you will get 15.14 meter squared. So after you complete taking off, you can proceed with preparing your BQ. So this is the BQ from what the sun timber quantity will be 15.14. The unit is square meter or you can you can just put as meter squared. Okay, you can just put as meter squared. And the rate basically will you can get from the supplier or in the test, the rate will be provided to you and you can determine the amount here and the total cost here. So that's all for this example. Any question? Okay, class, any question? No question, sir. All the way, Faham, jelas. Jelas. Faham, Faham, Roger, Roger. Faham, Faham, Faham. <laughs> okay, so, I think that's all for today's class. No question, sir, okay. So, oh, for uh, the slab, we are going to do in the next class. Next class kita bila hari apa Selasa eh? Selasa, Selasa. Pukul berapa hari Selasa? Pukul 45, 45. 45 eh? 45, 45. Okay. So hari Selasa kita akan jumpa balik 45 lah. Pukul 45 sir. Okay hari Selasa kita akan buat balik kelas pukul 45. Alright. Ada soalan lain nak tanya? Saya okay. Saya sihat. Alhamdulillah sihat.